sometimes we have situations where we need to compare two values in the same category for example I want to check my performance in all my subjects between my first test and my second test Hindi Marathi English mathematics and science as my subjects and in each subject I will have two values the score for test 1 and score for test 2 which means I cannot represent this using a single bar so in such cases what we do is we draw double bar graphs drawing a double bar graph is almost same as drawing a single bar graph in addition to choosing the scale plotting the categories along horizontal axis plotting the data values along the vertical axis and writing the scale at the top right hand corner and of course drawing the bars of the equal width we need to do two additional things when well, we are doing double bar graph one is that we have to write something called legend a legend distinguishes between two subcategories and we also need to ensure that we need to keep double distance between the categories because we have to draw two single bars in each category so let's draw a double bar graph for a student to represent his scores in test 1 and test 2 in the given subjects let's now draw the double bar graph so let's draw the axis first vertical and horizontal axis along the horizontal axis let's write the categories and let's ensure that we keep a little more distance between categories now let's decide the scale the maximum value in this case is 50 so we can choose a scale of 10 marks per unit so that will give us 5 markings plot this marks along the y-axis so let's write the scale one unit is equal to 10 marks now we will draw the bars ensure that when we draw the first bar that is for the test one the second bar should be drawn right next to the first bar and they should share one wall as we have finished drawing the bars the bars are not distinguishable we cannot make which one is test 1 and which one is test 2 so let's do one thing let's shade one set of the bars so let's say let's shade the test one bars and now is the time where we also show the legend now once again let's take a relook at what we have done we have showed the legend and the scale at the top right hand corner we have shown the categories along the horizontal axis we have shown data values along the vertical axis we have also drawn the bars of equal width and one important thing here is we have shaded one set of data values 
so that the data values are distinguishable. I am sure you would love to watch our other videos on data handling. Do watch these videos, leave us comments and do not forget to subscribe the channel so that you can get notifications whenever we upload more videos. Till then, goodbye.